Roller coasters dot the landscape of amusement parks throughout the world. These types of rides, like a Merhatum, tend to be the main draw at a given amusement park. There are some, though, that had their time and are either hard to find or almost non existent. These are the endangered and near extinct roller coasters. Now, first off, we have our endangered category of roller coasters. These are ones that still have a presence, however, are becoming less and less common. Now, all the coaster numbers in this video are per rollercoasterdatabase.com. And the first one we have is the Stand Up Roller Coaster. This was established in 1982. Today, there are currently only nine in existence, out of a total of around double that number ever built. Stand up roller coasters have a little bit more of a complicated design, and the more modern ones generally feature a saddle, which still is sort of a seat. Their main peak of popularity was from the late 80s through the 1990s. Once floorless roller coasters were developed by B&M, these coasters pretty much all but stopped being produced. In fact, after the floorless was developed, in 1999, only two stand-up coasters have been built since then. While some existing stand-up coasters, such as Mantis at Cedar Point, converted from stand-up to floorless. So aside from the aging of these roller coasters that do exist, some that were stand-up coasters are no longer. However, in 2023, SeaWorld of Orlando did build a brand new stand-up coaster in its pipeline surf coaster, meaning this type of coaster isn't quite going away just yet. My guess is the thinking is that sit-down floorless coasters generally give a similar experience and are more comfortable than a stand-up version. Our next endangered roller coaster is the bobsled coaster. This was originally established in 1929. Out of 24 that were built, there are just seven in existence today. This type of ride is very unique, meant to mimic a bobsledding experience. Many of these rides operate independent of a track, at least for large portions. They were pretty popular in the 1930s as a wood version, and then had a renaissance as a steel version in the 1980s. Now as to their current history, there have only been two built this entire century so far, and only one since 2001. Now as to why these have fallen out of favor, my guess would be two reasons. One is they're very capacity restricted, with some only having one rider per car, meaning ultimately you'd be able to satisfy less visitors than most other rides. And two, I think more so as a liability issue, because these rides do not operate on a fixed track, there's more variables at play with a given ride, which parks probably do not prefer. Next we have our near extinct category. These are roller coasters that are just very uncommon, very possible that they will not exist in the long term. And first up here we have the Toboggan Coaster. This was established in 1969 and just four out of 32 ever built still exist. So basically how these would work is that one car would ascend the tower at a vertical angle. After reaching the top, it would descend going in circles around that tower. The company Chance Rides simply just does not make these anymore. The ones that remain appear to just be ones that are left over from when they were produced. The very limited capacity of this ride and the fact that it's not currently made resulting in likely hard to find parts will probably result in this type of coaster going extinct in the long run. And lastly, we have the Pipeline Coaster. This type of coaster was established in 1986. The total amount ever built was only eight, with only one ever existing in the United States, with only three existing today, all of which are in Japan. So with these, they would start off as a regular roller coaster. However, certain sections would have the train from the ride go through an enclosed pipeline track. And I'm guessing based on the small cars, which usually only held six, would really just never have this type of ride catch on. It's a unique concept, but there really just isn't enough ride time and capacity to really make this a worthwhile investment. So there you have the endangered and near extinct roller coasters out there. It's entirely possible that most of these fade into obscurity and become nearly non-existent in the future. Some definitely more likely than others, but that remains to be seen. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.